I, I, and there's no L. Except for a, a maybe a sex failure. And, yeah, hand traps are the only L. Only one hand trap.
Now then, basically the basic combo is this card right here and this card and Skull D. You get that out with Treasure Panda and you can skip your opponent's turn infinitely, nigga. Well, mostly like at least like you kind of you getting all the cards to get them. It's really complicated and the Earthbound is just what I throw in for this version of it. The version I'm gonna show you is way more consistent when I do the deck profile. Will be at the end of this video. But basically, you can spend two monsters, skip your opponent's turn, look at all the cards in the hand. Skip. Now then, that was the early version of it. This is basically like right here. This is what I
and they quit because I skipped their turn like three times, and that's basically what this deck does. It skips turns. <clears throat> now then, for the deck profile. Basically, it's really simple. You got your three draw cards. Which you can get out with Treasure Panda, or you can pitch them with Summon, with, with summon Summoner Monk. Then you got your try right for extra monsters on the field. You're beginning to end to draw cards. And this is my new favorite addition to this deck, which I haven't seen yet. Is Serial Spell. Basically what happens is you get seven dark monsters in the graveyard. You activate the beginning of the end. Then you activate Serial Spell. You'll discard all cards in your hand and draw six cards. It's basically a complete hand reset. I, I get that, basically, if you were playing this in TCG, you just have to take out Grinder Golem and Dark Occultism and Ancient Leaf. And you could add in any other spell cards, really. And the deck would still work perfectly fine. I mean, it has draw fours, draw twos, and draw threes, and draw sixes, and draw, draw, draw fours. And it has all types of draw power in this deck. All to get out the world with this field spell. So you automatically get heads every time. And for backup, of course, you always got your heroic challenge. Your stoic challenge. Stoic challenge. Which will increase your um, lucir lucereal. I can't really. Uh, lucic it has a really hard name to pronounce. Sorry. I can't really pronounce it. It was easier when it was, when it was like lucerical and all that, but anyway. Basically, you summon this with Heroic Blade, and you skip your opponent's turn so it won't blow up. It won't blow up your monster at the end phase of their turn, because they don't have a turn. And so you can constantly just attack and attack directly, send two monsters to the graveyard, skip their turn, and keep on attacking until you do that damage. And it just goes through perfectly. This is the most condensed version of the deck I have. And I say that this is the best deck in the game. Because it, it skips your opponent's turn. Forget about them interacting with you at all. No interaction with the opponent at all. You just win. Once you get out the world, you win. It's as simple as that. There are very few outs of this. And it works very consistently with a lot of draw power, a lot of special summoning. You can even deck them out if they have max C and you're in the OCG. You can deck their ass out very easily. Okay, later.